you'd imagine that the soft tyres will be the best ones to start on. They'll get good grip away from the lights, and the lights go out, and we're underway here for the grand final of World Tour 5 in Tokyo. Who gets a good launch down to the first corner? Karatsuk on the way well. Koki one immediately on the defensive. Keep an eye out for Lopez trying around the outside through the Dunlop curve. All lots of big drover taking action as they come down in towards turn one. But Karatsuk holds on. Second place is still going to be Koki one. People go wide at that Dunlop corner there as well. No, either, but look at the draft there. 360 kilometers now before oh. breaking for the first again and Derouche gets it very very wrong has to take to the gravel and he'll go to the back of the grid big arms up in here that's frustration and that promotes Miyazano up into six so Karatsa now coming under pressure from Ryota Kokiban who's got the slipstream got the closing speed he's on the outside line but look at the way he muscles his way through that was absolutely brilliant there from Kokiban it's like Karatsa was standing still there. So let's watch him. Oh, there's been a mistake there. And it looks like Karatsa's got by Koki, but it's just getting a little bit uh, sideways there through the S's. And that allows Koki Lopez and Karatsa by. So just like that, Koki been down to third. Karatsa maybe trying to set himself up a little bit better, but now look at these four drivers running nose to tail. is going to drop back as he's been hit with that penalty there for exceeding track limits of half a second. Now it becomes a three-way scrap effectively on the second half of the uh, Mulsan straight. Now let's have a look at a replay here. Here's what happened to Kokobo. Yeah, through into the right. Oh, look at oh. that. He just got, he got a bit of opposite yeah. lock going off through there, sent it straight into the barrier on the outside. Interestingly, Miyazano is going to come onto the hard tyre early, so I think what he's going to do is run two laps on the medium, two laps on the hard, then go to the soft on the end. Well, that's what I'm expecting from the guys on the soft tyres at the moment. They're going to run four laps, the maximum they can possibly do in this race on those tyres. Then they'll change over to the mediums, then the hards or the other way around and run to the end of the race like that. That'll be quite interesting because if it's quite as close as it is, it just depends on who's on the mediums, who's on the hards at the end of the race. Yeah, we, will, we, we tend to see the soft tyre last the distance, though, if you're a good driver. But that's what Miyazono can do. He has to do something special here. Coming into the first Moulsanne chicane, touching the kerb on either side, easing the power on the exit. These things have a lot of power, as you can imagine, those big, fat rear tyres putting that power to the road, and Coca Lopez having a little bit of an issue on the left-hand side, kicking up the dust, but Ryota goes right back into the sit stream again. We've seen that a couple of times now, but the cars have struggled, it seems. Maybe the shifting a bit too late. Possibly so, yeah. They've only got five gears, these things. They are geared for straight-line speed, and that just shows how effective the sit stream is. But Ryota Kokiban, the upshot is for him now, into P2. I'm fairly sure they're going to try and do one more lap on this soft compound of tyres and go for as long a distance as they possibly can. So, ah, now Kokiban and Lopez go in, but Karatsa, crucially here, continues on for another lap. So, Lopez and Kokiban think they've got to the end of the shelf life on their soft tyres. They both in, uh, in turn go for the medium combat of tyres. Lakowski comes in off of the medium tyres onto the hard tyres for his middle sin. It's all kicking off here as Rubelar, Darouche and also Mangano in making uh, different stops. Soft, medium and hard for those three drivers there as well. So it's going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. And this is sort of the mid-race dip we expect with the strategy taking place. And it'll all kick off in theory towards the end. Here we go then, Kokiban over the start finish line, inheriting the lead for now. Where is Karatsa? Look to the left hand side of your screen. Where really comes out? Karatsa does come on the pit lane. And my word, the gap has actually increased. The gap is now up to nearly two seconds. As you say, into the pit lane comes Takuma Miyazono from uh, P11, it said there on your screen. So that's because of the prevailing field of in theory gone past him. Onto the soft combat of tyres for the closing stage there of this race, taking some fuel on board in these uh, last few laps as well. Adam Wilk also onto the soft compound here as well. Now, Takuma Miyazono, of course, he's got drivers in front of him. However, they have all got another pit stop to make. So it's down to Miyazono to have the laps of his life here to get himself in the closing stages in a very competitive position. Now, a penalty there for Koke Lopez. Half a second, that's for track limits, isn't it? Yeah. And that is going to compromise him here. Easy to do that around here. That'll be a couple of Spanish swear words, I think, inside the, the head of his right there. Um, very easy to do that. The track limits are very strict around uh, Le Mans. They have to be, otherwise you can gain a lot of time. That car behind is going to get bigger and bigger and on your screen as the speed rises. Coming down now to the Molsan corner. Look how much more speed Nico Rubla has, but he, he says, you know what, I'm not going to make the move here. I'm going to try and get close as I can use the draft coming up in Indianapolis and make it an easy pass instead of a difficult one. I love the way you just choose Gump whilst he's racing as well. He looks so yeah. chilled. Yeah. Just like There's Randa Roos looking a little bit more animated by uh, consequence as well. As you can see, he's now having to try and defend. Rubelar now pulling side by side as they come down in towards Indianapolis then. Rubelar is through with the slipstream through the right hand. And we go to Roos down into P5. Rubelar the Chilean up into fourth. Actually, so let's see how it all plays out for these drivers as they take on the hard tires, the slowest compound of tires for the final stages then of this race. Now look at the fuel consumption here. Adriano Carazza is going to have to take on a fair bit of it because he's got only 18 litres left. Coke Lopez, meanwhile, has done a good job of saving it. He's got 30 litres left. Not too much fuel to take on, hopefully we'll see. 
Now, what was Lopez fits up? There you go. So Kogibun there. Again, as you said, Tom, a longer stop for Karatsa on fuel. He wasn't in the draft at all there, so he had to use more fuel. And Kogibun goes up into the provisional lead of this race. He does have that penalty, though. Rubla in, as is Darush, both for the hard compound tie. Where is Cody? Cody is three seconds behind Koke Lopez on a tie. About three seconds a lap quicker. And again, another penalty for Kogibun there, just abusing the track limits and uh, getting paid for it as well. So a disaster for the Japanese driver. He's going to have a big hit coming on to the penalty zone, just coming out of Arnage. But Chris Kokibun about to serve his penalty then one and a half seconds. That's a week in this type of racing, and he's going to have a very hard task to try and close that gap down. Oh, my word. That That's was speed. close for comfort, wasn't That's it? That's a speed differential there of the penalty. My <laughs> it is getting very exciting indeed with Cody Lukowski looking and seeking to try and take his first ever World Tour win here, Jimmy, and he's in a very good position to try and do so. Looking very good for him right now, but he has to really take his time and be patient. Make the smart moves, Cody. Did what you said you were going to do. Don't rush this. You have the car underneath you. It'll be ninth and Cavill coming to the Porsche curve. Oh. Cody comes up. Uh, tries to go up the inside there, but Koke Lopez comes across the defender. Now he's stuck on the inside. That puts Cody and Koke goes around the outside of the Borgia curves. And there's contact between the two. And again, there's contact between him and Koke Lopez. And my word, that's what I meant. Look, Miyazono's in the background now. He's onto the back of the soft compound of tyres. So just like that, Miyazono is back into the frame. But now there's four seconds between these guys and the front pack. Miyazono's going to go around the outside. Three wide coming into the Borgia gate. Miyazono up in the first place. And now he will try and chase down the lead. Oh, for 0.5 seconds, that's going to change everything. He'll be serving out when he comes out of the first chicane, and that means beautiful Kokkiman, and apparently for Lukowski as well. Oh, my word, it's getting sloppy now at the moment. Miyazolo side by side with Lukowski. They don't need to Whoa. be doing this. Cody swipes to the inside, takes the defensive line. Miyazolo goes around the outside, uses the sip screen. But all they're doing is slowing each other up right now. This could be Kokkiman's race. Lukowski keeps the inside, but now the penalty is being served at the second chicane. Guys, give us the front. There you go. So Karatsa are very slow. Here comes Kokibun. He's got the run. Seven tenths per second. Half a second now. Coming down to the second chicane. Kokibun is to look to the inside, I think. Karatsa goes defensive. He swipes the outside. And Kokibun goes up with a little roar from the Japanese crowd here. Rio for Kokibun leads in Tokyo on the final race of the Grand Final here in the Nations Cup. The Japanese driver is on top, but keep an eye out for the man who's close behind as well. Off to Guma Miyazona, he's ready to close up in these closing stages. Here is Karata, though, he's going to try and fight back against Tokyo. Down they go, the moles are straight into the moles and corner, and Karata is back in front here. The speed increases. Here we go, then, coming up to Indianapolis. Karata sits in the middle of the road. Kogeman goes to the outside. That's the same stream. Round there, oil oh, to the dirt. You see dust picked up on the left-hand side of your screen. Now for Indianapolis. And Karata looks at his right on the back of the Japanese driver into Indy. Almost touches Kogeman as we come into Arnage for the last time. Karata sideways. This is absolutely mega. And Ryota Kogeman, what a move around the outside there. He defends and Karata's oh. off. Karata's off and Arnage. And Ryota Kogeman. Here in Tokyo, Takuma Miyazono there in fourth place. But stand up on your feet and applaud this man here. Rio Takokiban. Oh, Karatsa, what a move! I don't believe it! Takokiban gets it back over the line. And Takokiban wins here in Tokyo. Rio Takokiban is the first ever Japanese winner of the FIA Gran Turismo Championships World Tour event here in Tokyo.